Hello and welcome Orale ATA family to our leadership video. Now, what we're doing in this video is we're going over the leadership curriculum weapon, which is double sang le vent. So if you are using these weapons at home, remember that these are hard weapons. These aren't like your padded song jabong that you have for Black Book Club. So make sure that if you are using these at home, you need to make sure that you have plenty of space. Make sure no one or nothing is around you that could get hurt. And also parents and students, if you feel unsafe with having this weapon flying so close to your head, I recommend wearing a helmet, your sparring helmet. So that way if you do get hit, you'll still be safe and sound. I, that's just a recommendation that is optional and it is up to you guys. So just make sure to follow along with this video and do what works best for you. So first, we're gonna get warmed up with this weapon. Feet apart here. You're gonna hold both these weapons, all right, like two fists, down by your belt at your side, and we're gonna twirl this weapon backwards. And now, here's the thing, with double weapons, you gotta make sure they both look equal, <laughs> all right? So make sure they're both spinning at the same speed and they both should be as even as you can get them. Now, we're gonna bring the weapon up to your arms and twirl them both forward. This is the harder one. Make sure they're both going at the same speed. Make sure they both look the same. Now, we're gonna bring those weapons, thumbs down, underneath your arms here, and above the head. Look like two helicopter blades. Make sure they're up high above your head. Make sure they're flat. Good, and carefully bring them down. Now, first technique we're gonna work on today is we're gonna work on bouncing it on our arms here. We're gonna do it without the twirl first. All right, so watch, my arms stay in the same place. I'll show you from the side. My arms stay still, but my hands are gonna be flicking it back and forth. The only thing that should be touching my arm is the weapon. My hand shouldn't touch my arm. Right? The weapon is just bouncing back and forth here. So practice that, going up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now keep those weapons down there. I want you to twirl backwards. All right, down and twirl to your shoulders. Down, backwards, twirl up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good, now relax your shoulders a little bit. We're gonna do some triangles now. Remember, it's like your single triangle, except there's no spin. You gotta have it, all right, no spin. One hand, other hand. Triangles, right, touching one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, and one, and two. Eventually, right, you should get to the point where both of your hands are moving at the same time. They don't stop moving. Both of your arms should just be going, 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 going. Take your time though. Make sure you're still touching to your hips properly. Make sure you're still hitting the right parts of your body here. All right, good, and time. Now, last thing we're gonna practice today is we're gonna practice some strikes going across the body using both of our hands. So first, from weapons on our shoulders, bring those weapons down to one side. See, they're both on the same hip. Now I'm gonna bring them back to the same shoulder. And I'm gonna repeat that. Down to one side, up to the opposite side. Down and up. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm keeping some space between my hands. They're not together, otherwise the weapons clack together. Keep them apart. One, two. I'm striking. One, two. Now that they're down in your hip, bring it up to the other shoulder and strike. Ready? Strike. Strike. And strike. Good. Now we're going to go back and forth. So down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, good. So all those moves we just practiced, we're gonna put them together into a mini form, right? If you have enough space, like let's say you have space to practice outside, you can move more, but for the sake of the space you guys most likely have at home while watching this, this form is gonna be done on the same spot, not moving at all. So I want you to start weapons together here. All right, this is how we're gonna start our form. Ready position, bring the weapons up to your shoulders, Bring them down and twirl up. Now, we're gonna do some triangles, right? Just moving both hands at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. They're 
They're both up on your shoulders. Now we're gonna bring the weapons down, up, down. And now we're gonna go across, up to the other shoulder, down, other shoulder, down, other shoulder, down. Now twirl those weapons back up. You're gonna catch it together, remember, right? Fingers up, over the pointer finger, stepping forward and, ayah! Crossing your, crossing your hands, stabbing with the points of the weapon here. So let's do that mini form one more time. Starting with the weapons together here, at your sides. Bring it up to your shoulders, down, twirl up, and triangles go. One, two, three, four, and five. Both of them up. Bring it to one side. And ready? One, two. And then to the other shoulder. One, other shoulder, two, and three, and four. Twirl up. Catch it together. Step and stabbing there and set. Good work today, guys, right? Like I said, that is a mini weapons form and really you could add anything you wanted to in there. If you wanted to add some kicks, punches, more cool weapons moves, that's the beauty of weapons, right? It's to demonstrate control, demonstrate your control and skill so you get to make the forms whatever you want them to be. All right, nice job, guys. Face me, bow, and say, bully!